of course I believe we slay and pray and that is where I do my makeup and uh, you know we have to look good you know you have to dress up every day no matter how you feel thank you so much it's a blessing to be here at ETA Awards I'm also the veteran of ETA Awards where we recognize achievers and we, cele we celebrate excellent people that are making you know an impact in arts entertainment in community in governance in leadership and in various aspects so it's really a blessing to be here today just taking a day you know in Kenya yeah. the culture has been pull her down pull him down when somebody is trying to rise when somebody is trying to do something great we have the PhD culture pull him down pull her down but at ETA Awards we are here to say we are making it fashionable in our generation yeah. instead of being hateful about each other to be helpful to support and to recognize and this to all those that will be recognized today is just to tell them you know we see you continue doing more continue being you and continue shining so and to all those that are here to celebrate all the recipients of those that are being awarded thank you for celebrating excellence and greatness uh, uh, we have so many awards here in kenya what would you say that eta awards has a unique thing that eta awards has one of the unique things about eta it recognizes even those that are at machinani we don't just recognize people that are celebrities or people that are just known we recognize even the uncelebrated heroes those people that are in machinani that are making an impact we go right on the ground to find out who are the people that are making an impact in different spheres of life so we are not just looking at those people that are uh, that are known we are also looking at the at the at the at the heroes who are uncelebrated people that are really going the extra mile making a positive difference because it takes one person a day to make a difference in our world and especially in our nation so ETA is so special because look at today last time when we were when we met we were in Nairobi cinema but today we are in Machakos that tells you that we have a vision of going county to county and not just county to county we want to go to East Africa and the rest of Africa yes okay, so uh, reference being the platform of ETA was why did you decide to become the person of these awards and not any other awards? Because as she said, we have so many awards in Kenya which are offer uh, those upcoming artists too. Why, did, why choose ETA Awards? What is special about ETA Awards? Okay, the one thing that is very special about ETA Awards is that it is also focused on young people. And being a pastor, I'm also a pastor that is more focused on young people because I feel like our generation is our responsibility. And uh, the ones that went ahead of us, they have already set the base, they have already done it. But ETA Awards is more centered on uh, the, the upcoming generation, the generation of millennials, the generation of Gen Z, you know, just the upcoming generation. So I feel ETA Awards is more special because it is also centered on the upcoming generation and also not on the people who have already made it. You know, some, some other awards recognize only those that have been celebrated over and over but as we go the extra mile of finding the talent you know and encouraging the talent encouraging the greatness encouraging the skill encouraging the gift yeah. uh, seeing that it is all about the upcoming artists what do you do to after the awards now what else what is the next for them because yeah. they might win their awards with them they are comfortable with, with what they have what do you do to keep them pushing and make sure that in the next upcoming awards they have they participate all right actually at ETA awards we also have a follow-up program where we also connect uh, like-minded people with opportunities so it's not just a way of just uh, acknowledging them and celebrating them we also have deliberate you know deliberate steps that we do and we take to ensure that we can also connect them to what will help them grow to give them also the opportunity and the platform of exposure so there are certain programs that we are still working on and we hope that even in this now this year we will be able to do it bigger and better connecting them with bigger and better opportunities and like-minded people because teamwork makes the dream work yeah and time when you go uh, somewhere you have a support from your mom how yeah. does that make
make you feel. Uh -huh. You know, my mom is uh, so amazing because uh, I am a product of her faith. And, uh, you know, just like I'm a pastor, she's also a pastor. So it's always a blessing to have your mom around, especially when your mom is your greatest support system. So she's here today. She'll also be greeting you shortly. And uh, we thank God. And also she's a digital mom. She's 62 years yeah, with uh, already uh, three grand, two grandchildren, my brother. Also, the grandchild is coming. And of course, mine will be coming soon. Maybe two or also three. So, yeah, it's a blessing. Yeah. Let me ask this as we talk about award. If we had a pastor's award, what award would you take home? Ah, my God. For me, I would like to be known for inspiring the next generation. Because my messages are centered on hope, faith, love, and inspiration. So, I would just want, you know, we don't serve because of awards, but uh, if there was something like that, I think uh, just to be known for inspiration, because I came from the slums of Madare, and I am a living testimony that God can pick somebody from nowhere, because I grew up in the slums of Madare, and that is my story, but that did not stop me from becoming what I have become today. So probably an inspiration. I would like somebody out there to look at Natasha and say, if she came out of the slums of Madare, to become who she is today, an author, a pastor, you know, and many other things that we do, a businesswoman, I can also be able to do it. So, inspiration, because inspiration is what I'm called for. I'm a prophet of hope. Yes. As we wind up, a message to all the nominees, everyone who is going to get the award, just a message to them. To everyone that has been nominated, congratulations. This is just a recognition to tell you, we see you, do more, keep on pushing. We know success is not a destination, it's a journey. And already you are on that path. To those that are winning the awards, it's not time to rest. Success requires consistency. So you need to be consistent. Consistent is game. Yes. So you came with your friend uh, Foina. Yes. Just a, a message to her because she's also supporting you. You're supporting us. Yeah. Of course, I believe we slay and pray, and that is where I do my makeup. And uh, you know, we have to look good. You know, you have to dress up every day, no matter how you feel. Dress up, show up, look good. So my message is: uh, Let's keep doing what we are called to do. All of us cannot be pastors. Some of us are called to be in government, uh, in leadership. Others are called in the arts entertainment others are called in education so all of us cannot you are called in media so we have the seven mountains of influence so what i can say you know let's all do what we were called to do we are all unique with and we are anointed and called differently uh -huh. how are the to us yeah <laughs> in the media yeah please keep producing clean content yeah. and we really appreciate you just seeing young you know innovative minds people that are so determined we pray that god your star will shine brighter and thank you for producing clean content and not for crucifying us in the court of public opinion. So we really appreciate even the opportunity to share this message through the media. Thank you. Thank you.